Christmas is almost here. Or depending on when you watch this video, Christmas is here. Or Christmas has been and gone. Whatever, this is a video about Christmas in Germany, just a few random facts that I've put together because why not? If you've been watching my videos for a long time now, you may have heard me talk about some of these things before, but you can never have too much of a good thing, so let's crack on. And we begin with Christmas Eve, which, as you may have read on the internet, is when Germans celebrate Christmas. It Except that that's actually not the full story. It's more accurate to say that Christmas Eve is when Christmas begins. You see, many, many years ago, the day went from sunset to sunset. Christmas Eve literally means the evening of Christmas, because Christmas began at sunset on the 24th of December. And this idea it still impacts on German tradition today. That's why on Christmas Eve the shops are open in the morning, but they close in the afternoon so that everybody can get home in time for Christmas. Traditions vary a lot from place to place and even from family to family, so exactly how Christmas is celebrated can differ. Some families might have their main Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve and others on Christmas Day. And yes, we have not one, but two days off. December the 26th is also a public holiday, although this year it happens to be a Sunday anyway. Christmas was originally a whole season, lasting until Candlemas on the 2nd of February, but these days we don't seem to have time for that. You may also have heard that children are told that gifts are brought not by Santa, but by the baby Jesus. And, well... <laughs> Not quite. Santa Claus is an American figure, partly inspired by Saint Nicholas, who traditionally leaves gifts for children on his day, which is the 6th of December. But in the 16th century, along came the Protestants, who rejected the idea of venerating the saints, and so they suggested that gifts are brought by baby Jesus on his birthday. Now, the idea of the Christ child was enthusiastically embraced by the Catholics, who thought it was a brilliant idea. But then they started to change what the Christ child actually was, and it evolved into something more like an angel dressed in white with blonde hair, and usually played by a teenage girl. So now, the Christ child is no longer the baby Jesus, but more an allegorical figure that embodies the spirit of Christmas, at least for Catholics. But that brings us to the infamous Christmas pickle, well known in some parts of America as an old German tradition. Except that nobody can find any evidence for it. So the tradition is that when you decorate the Christmas tree, one of the ornaments looks like a pickle and is hidden somewhere in the branches. The first child to find it is given an extra gift. Now, to be sure, pickle ornaments were a thing. A hundred years ago, Christmas tree ornaments were made to resemble all kinds of fruits, nuts and other objects. And we know that at least sometimes a pickle was one of them. But the tradition of hiding one doesn't seem to have been a tradition in Germany, or at least not one that was widespread. From time to time, researchers might find a German who says they remember doing this in their family when they were a child, but so far there's no evidence that it was ever a cultural tradition. And finally, how many German Christmas carols can you think of? Well, if you can think of more than one, then your list almost certainly includes O Tannenbaum. The only thing is, it's not a Christmas carol. It's based on an old folk song which praised the fir tree for its unchanging appearance through the seasons. In 1819, this inspired a tragic love song in which the singer compares the tree's faithfulness to an unfaithful lover. A few years later, this was rewritten and new verses were added, one of which mentions Christmas in passing. But this was at a time when Christmas trees were first becoming really popular. And so the song became associated with Christmas. And we now think of it as a Christmas carol. And with that, Merry Christmas to everybody. Even those of you who don't celebrate it, I want you all to be merry. 
Is that okay? 